Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In this tutorial, we will go ahead and create an account on heroku.com. So first thing is we will go to sign up and say Heroku. And the first link that you see here, non-page, we'll go ahead and click on that link. Provide your information here, whatever your first name, last name, email address. company name and programming language we can say Java here because the application is going to be the Java application create and then I'm going to go ahead and now we will get an email from heroku.com it might take a couple minutes so we got an email here and uh, we're going to go ahead and activate our account and Give your password that you want to give. Okay, so now we are good to go and we have created our Heroku account and this is the dashboard here of Heroku. We do not have any applications right now deployed. Uh, but we're going to see how to deploy the application. So let's just go ahead and give you a quick overview here. So this is what your Heroku dashboard looks like. On this, if you click on here, you see all the databases. So Heroku also has a, a database that you can add on. It's a resource, so we'll see how to add the database here. Um, if you want to learn more about, you have the documentation here. And uh, if you wanted to go ahead, and this is your app, you can go ahead and create a brand new app here. And uh, we'll, we'll also create a new app. We'll see that as well. So this is how the Heroku looks like. So now you're all set to go. Now next thing you need to also do is create a Salesforce developer account. So we will go ahead and log into developer.salesforce.com because we're going to go ahead and integrate this with our uh, Salesforce. So we have created. Now go ahead and sign up here as well. So we'll sign up, provide your information. And the username should be in an email format. So I'm going to go ahead and say so this particular uh, username has to has at the rate symbol in the dot operator it has to be in an email format, but it does not need to be a valid email. So you can use info at xyz.com as long as it has at the rate and dot in it, it'll go ahead and address it as an email format. And uh, it does not have to be a valid one, but you need to provide a valid email address here because, because Salesforce is going to send you a password reset, a password link here using this particular email address. So this has to be the correct or valid email address and the username can be any email format. So check out, check this box and go ahead and sign me up here. Almost there, you probably will get an email from Salesforce. So you finally got an email from Salesforce. And uh, if you go here, click on this link and set up your password here using that link. So it should have eight characters, one letter and one number. So make sure you set your password, which matches all these three criteria. Okay, so now you have finally set up your Salesforce account as well as Heroku account here. So I'm assuming that you know Salesforce, you know out of the box features of Salesforce, and you're also familiar with the Java programming language or Apex programming language. So this will be easy for you to follow along because in this course, we're only focusing on the integration side. We're not talking about Apex. We're not talking about uh, Salesforce uh, app, etc. We I have courses on that as well. Here, your main focus is integrating an application which is deployed on Heroku with a Salesforce Post.com application. So, in the next tutorial, we will talk about all the integration methods that are available to connect a Heroku application with the Salesforce application. So, I'll see you in the next tutorial. Thank you so much.